Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about today's look because I wanted to do something a little bit more toned down and a nice neutral brown look for fall and perfect to transition into winter time as well. But I also really wanted to use all drugstore products. I'm so excited and I hope you guys are as well. And if you wanna stick around to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. I'm going into the e.l.f. Cosmetics Hot Chocolate Eyes Sugar Cookie Shadow Palette. The first shadow I'm picking up is this light brown. I'm starting with my Sigma E38 Diffuse Crease Brush and running this shadow through my crease. I'm now going into this tan brown. So now I'm picking up this shadow on my Sigma F70 Concealer Brush and I'm going to use the tip of the brush to kind of just create that shape that I want. So we're going to be creating a kind of winged out cat eye shape, but I don't want it to be super harsh, so I'm not using tape or anything. This is just a great way to nicely and softly apply that shadow in that same cat eye shape. And then I'm going to start just pulling back from that line and just applying the shadow halfway onto my lid. And if you kind of just lay your brush on an angle, look at how nicely that just creates that shape. And then just start feathering that in. It's okay if it's not perfect right now because I am going to be going back in with a blending brush. Now going into my Sigma E25 blending brush, I pick that shadow up. And I'm going to start lightly just diffusing that up. And then a little bit towards the inner corner. And I'm just picking up a little bit more. And then really concentrating on blending this out right here. I'm now just going back into the transition shade in my E38. And this is just going to help really blend everything out and make sure there's no harsh lines. I'm picking up this shimmery brown shadow. Now I'm picking up this shadow on my finger and I'm just going to apply it right on this empty area. And then also just kind of tapping in between where the shadows meet helps just blend it out. And then just lightly blend this inner part of my crease. I'm now picking up this shimmery champagne shadow. And then just to spice things up a little bit, I'm picking up this shadow on my finger and then just tapping that over top of the inner part of my lid. Now moving on to my lower lash line, going in with my E54 Medium Sweeper Brush by Sigma. I'm picking up that lighter brown that we used as a transition and just sweeping that all along my lash line. And then picking up that darker brown and just applying that on this outer half. That's just going to help really nicely elongate the eye. Now going back into that light shimmery shadow and just applying that on my inner corner. To line my waterline, I'm going to the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Defining Moment Liner in Black is Black. And now because I'm not applying any liner, I'm just going to add a little bit of definition to my lashes and make them a little bit darker at the base by just lining my upper waterline. I'm going to apply mascara false lashes and I'm going into the Ardell 3D Foam Ink Lashes in 860. And that's the eye look done. I'm first going to line my lips and I'm going into the NYX Lip Pencil in Nude Truffle. I'm now going to fill in my lips with the lip pencil and concentrating mostly on the outer corners. Now just to make my lips kind of look a little plumper and highlight them a little bit in the center, I'm going to go into this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Cairo and then just apply it in the center and then pat that out with my finger. So I love the lip just like that, but I think I want to try this new gloss. It's from Maybelline and it is their new Lifter Gloss with Hyaluronic Acid and the shade I'm using today is Opal. And that's it. This is the completed look of my neutral brown smoky eye using all drugstore products. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love how the look turned out. And I have to say, I'm really impressed with the e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. The mattes are so pigmented and so blendable and creamy. I really, really like this palette. And then this gloss from Maybelline is incredible. It felt so nice and luxurious going on my lips. It's not sticky whatsoever. And it looks amazing and such a high shine. So definitely check out these two products. And I'm honestly loving the gloss so much and I'm usually not such a gloss kind of person but this 
is incredible and doesn't even feel like I have a gloss on. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That'd be down in the description box and also a list of all the products that I used today along with my brush set with Sigma that I used to create this look will be listed down below for you guys to find everything easier. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload. And I think that should be it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!